before attempting to identify structures on the humerus, you should be able to identify the left and right humerus bones. The humerus forms a ball and socket joint at the shoulder with the scapula. Obviously, the head of the humerus is the nice round ball which accomplishes this. And so this head of the humerus must face both proximally and medially. Only in this position would it face towards the scapula and then form the shoulder. Once you know which end faces proximally and medially, you merely need to distinguish between anterior and posterior. This is most easily done if you feel your elbow, the olecranon. When the arm is flexed, you can feel it. But when you extend your forearm, the olecranon is no longer easily palpable. It disappears. When you look at the distal end of the humerus, clearly there is a large hole or space. And it is only this space which can fit this olecranon and is therefore known as the olecranon fossa, or literally the elbow hole. On the opposite side of the humerus, there simply isn't a space big enough to fit this olecranon when the arm is extended. And so you know that there must be a space on the posterior of the arm which can fit the olecranon when the forearm is extended. And so therefore, the obvious olecranon fossa must face posteriorly. Knowing this, you can distinguish between the left and right humerus bones.